Let me tell you something. Ooh, let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Boy, it's just networking. Cause man, when I first started, I started off just like y'all. You know, musicians, you at home, you might live in an obscure place where there's not a lot of opportunities, or you might uh, be the baddest cat in your hood or whatever, but you don't know anybody. Man, I started from scratch, just like y'all. I put out my emails, sending them out to all the folks I wanted to meet or interview, and nothing. I mean, did nothing go down for like a year. See, at the time, Boy, Maurice Fitzgerald, he was on fire. You know, he don't do him and Fred and them just killing. I'm like, man, if I can interview Maurice Fitzgerald, that'll open up some doors for me. But I didn't know Maurice. I didn't know nobody who knew Maurice. I didn't know Calvin and all them at, the, at that time. So I'm like, man. So I'm sending them emails, nothing. Now this ain't no thing on him now. This dude don't know me from Adam. Same as the cats that y'all sending stuff out, don't know y'all. But the thing is, I never gave up, man. Never gave up. People would come to town for concerts. I'm sitting up here trying, trying, nothing. Now what make it all good? Just keep grinding, keep hustling, man. So what I did was, I saw Victor Wooten play one time. I'm like, man, who is this dude? I ain't gonna never be able to play like that. So I was like, man, I wish I could meet this dude. Nothing. So I'm, I'm uh, uh, just, just happened, they were coming to town. And I noticed Vic had a cat in the background playing bass. So I did some research on him, Anthony Wellington, my boy, now y'all. So I sent him some emails. Nothing. So you know what I did? I had to go hood, y'all. I had to go old school. I just thought buying them shirts. I bought a, a Smell Like Funk shirt, which he uh, manufactured. And so and that way you can get in. I'm just telling y'all what I did now. They had, Anthony invited me to sound check. Go down there, man, meet Vic. Me and Vic hit it off real good. Man, we've been boys ever since. Them years ago. You know, so back when people come to town, Fantasia Band, my boy Mike, man, but before then was Rick Benjamin and all. Man, I would get them cats, St. Louis Cardinal caps. Folks need a ride to Walmart, need a haircut, anything, man, I would do just to try to open the door, man. And that was, like I said, that was in like uh, 2006. But it's all good now because I can consider all them partners. All I'm saying is this, y'all. You sitting at home, opportunities ain't there. You got to make your freaking own opportunity. If you're lazy, you don't want to grind, that's on you. I can't help you there. But if you want to get out and you want to push it, hit me up, man. I, I'm, I'm willing to help anybody, man. But first of all, you got to have something to offer. Don't nobody want you you can't play nothing. Don't nobody want you if you can't. See, people don't just want you to hand you a CD. They ain't going to listen. Like me, you give me a CD, everybody know I ain't listening to nobody's CD. I'm old school. I got to hear some stylistics, you know, earth, wind, and fire, you know, that kind of stuff. My gospel cats, they already know. Man, don't give J. Ross no CD. You just wasting money. Now, don't get me wrong. I love God. That ain't what I'm saying. And it, just do it like that. Make it where you got something to offer. My thing that I offer was J. Ross TV. At the time, I didn't have one viewer. Not one. Not one. But I grind my way up. 13.8 million viewers. 4,500 videos, y'all. Google partner. Cat, hey, cash in them Google checks. I'm out. Peace. Let me tell you something.